Just how much working time we've got. Find out how long for this sale of the water. Yeah. Right, come on, let's get right out of that clear. Quickly. Yeah, when there's a foot of water, anyone under that, that'll be drowned. Come on, lads. Get up quickly. Oh, oh, Request urgent information from PLA. Uh, for expected tide to reach foreshore. Over. What's the situation here? That's two blokes trapped down the pile of scaffolding, sir. Tide coming in with the speed of light. Bloody hell. Uh, Echo 4 for 2 we see you, Dover. We've got about 35 minutes working time on the outside, Gov. You see it? Thank you. I'll take charge of this incident. Yes, yeah, sir. He's just taking charge of this incident, isn't he? Where are you going? Get the thermal image camera, sir. You stay down there. Mr. Tate. Sir? I want two men up there to lash and secure that lock. Well, we ain't got time, sir. We need all the lads we can muster down here. You heard what I said. Shit. There's a bit George. You heard the station commander. Get up there, lash that lot, and make it safe. We've got half an hour to get those blokes out from under there before the tide comes in and drowns them. Can you hear me? Don't try and tell me how to conduct this incident. There could be further casualties among the workmen and crews if that scaffolding comes down. In my opinion, that's a risk we have to take. I'm not interested in your opinion. That bloke's half a pork pie short of a picnic, do you know that? Bit of he says, Gov. OK, leave that lot. Where are you, stone dead? Get over here and out of it till that lot's lashed and secured. Come on, Gov. Beat down the line and I'll secure this lot. We'd better get the injured man away while we're waiting. Get the fireboat crew in there. He looks like he's broken something. Get What the fuck? Get the going on? Don't ask me. Ask that mad white out there. Bites! My Führer! How much longer are we going to be staying down here playing with ourselves? You spelled wanker with a K, by the way! Crap. Oh, Sod this! Come on, lads. Hold up, Blue Watch. I've got to deal with this. That scaveling is not secure. If it falls and those men are injured, it's on your head. You should come down for a paddle, sir. The water is lovely. There's supposed to be a bloody fire and rescue service. We should be getting stuck in. And what's the job about? Come on, Gov. Oh, Gov, what are we waiting for? Permission for the crews to continue with a rescue operation due to the fact the tide is now dangerously close to being completely against us. Permission refused. Go and do your job, lads. What the hell do you think you're doing? Disobeying the orders of a senior officer. Now, look, you might be a senior officer, but you are inept. We ain't got time to play it by the book. You're risking the lives of the crews. The crews are prepared to take that chance. 
What they're not prepared to do is stand about like a load of ponces waiting for some nutcase of a tin pot dictator who's too bloody busy making paperwork and too bloody high and mighty to get stuck in and get himself dirty. To tell them they've got to let blokes die because a bit of scaffolding might drop on them. Get that thermal image camera down there and a double! Get airbags. Get them! Look up. I'll crucify you for this! You do what gives you the most satisfaction. I'll have you spat out of the service! I take full responsibility for my actions, the actions of my crews, and the conduct of this incident from now on, sir! Get Neil Robertson stretch around here. Just in time. Try telling him that. Blackwall Mavericks mutant. That's what it was out there today. Rank insubordination, which is tantamount to mutiny. And what happens when a ship's crew mutinies? Someone lobs a book at them, sir. That's right. And someone's gonna lob the book at you, aren't they, Sub Officer Hallam? Because you were officer in charge at a certain other station when a certain young black firefighter was almost drowned. And tell me. Who's gonna lob the book at you lot after today's little escapade? Area Commander Bulstrode. Southeast area, sir. Assistant Chief Officer Bulstrode. Who is not a very motherly person, is he? He is neither gentle nor meek, is he? I don't know him socially, sir. No, no. That is enough, Mr. Tate! You led your crews into this and you are gonna suffer for it. You, Mr. Tate. For the proverbial chop. Now go get yourselves cleaned up. 